Deductive reasoning, also deductive logic, logical deduction is the process of reasoning from one or more statements premises to reach a logically certain conclusion. Deductive reasoning goes in the same direction as that of the conditionals, and links premises with conclusions. If all premises are true, the terms are clear, and the rules of deductive logic are followed, then the conclusion reached is necessarily true. Deductive reasoning, top down logic, contrasts with inductive reasoning, bottom up logic. In the following way, in deductive reasoning, a conclusion is reached reductively by applying general rules which hold over the entirety of a closed domain of discourse, narrowing the range under consideration until only the conclusions is left. In inductive reasoning, the conclusion is reached by generalizing or extrapolating from specific cases to general rules, i.e., there is epistemic uncertainty. However, the inductive reasoning mentioned here is not the same as induction used in mathematical proofs. Mathematical induction is actually a form of deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning differs from abductive reasoning by the direction of the reasoning relative to the conditionals. Deductive reasoning goes in the same direction as that of the conditionals, whereas abductive reasoning goes in the opposite direction to that of the conditionals. Topic: Simple example. An example of an argument using deductive reasoning All men are mortal, first premise Socrates is a man, second premise Therefore, Socrates is mortal, conclusion the first premise states that all objects classified as men have the attribute mortal. The second premise states that Socrates is classified as a man, a member of the set men. The conclusion then states that Socrates must be mortal", because he inherits this attribute from his classification as a man. <laughs> Reasoning with modus ponens, modus tollens, and syllogism <laughs> Modus ponens Modus ponens also known as «affirming the antecedent» or «the law of detachment» is the primary deductive rule of inference. It applies to arguments that have as first premise a conditional statement P Q and as second premise the antecedent P of the conditional statement. It obtains the consequent Q of the conditional statement as its conclusion. The argument form is listed below PQ display style P right arrow Q first premise as a conditional statement P display style P second premise as the antecedent Q display style Q conclusion deduced as the consequent in this form of deductive reasoning the consequent Q display style Q obtains as the conclusion from the premises of a conditional statement PQ display style P right arrow Q and its antecedent P display style P However, the antecedent p display style p cannot be similarly obtained as the conclusion from the premises of the conditional statement pq display style p right arrow q and the consequent q display style q. Such an argument commits the logical fallacy of affirming the consequent. The following is an example of an argument using modus ponens. If an angle satisfies 90 degrees a display style a a display style a is an obtuse angle. A display style a equals 120 degrees. A display style a is an obtuse angle since the measurement of angle a display style a is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. We can deduce from the conditional if then statement that a display style a is an obtuse angle. However, if we are given that a display style a is an obtuse angle, we cannot deduce from the conditional statement that 90 degrees a display style a topic modus tollens modus tollens also known as the law of contrapositive is a deductive rule of inference. It validates an argument that has as premises a conditional statement pq display style p right arrow q and the negation of the consequent q display style lnot q and as conclusion the negation of the antecedent p display style lnot p. In contrast to modus ponens, reasoning with modus tollens goes in the opposite direction to that of the conditional. 
The general expression for modus tollens is the following: p q p right arrow q. First premise is a conditional statement q q. Second premise is the negation of the consequent p p. Conclusion deduced is the negation of the antecedent. The following is an example of an argument using modus tollens: If it is raining, then there are clouds in the sky. There are no clouds in the sky. Thus, it is not raining. Topic law of syllogism The law of syllogism takes two conditional statements and forms a conclusion by combining the hypothesis of one statement with the conclusion of another. Here is the general form P Q P right arrow Q Q R Q right arrow R Therefore P R Display style p right arrow r. The following is an example. If Larry is sick, then he will be absent. If Larry is absent, then he will miss his classwork. Therefore, if Larry is sick, then he will miss his classwork. We deduced the final statement by combining the hypothesis of the first statement with the conclusion of the second statement. We also allow that this could be a false statement. This is an example of the transitive property in mathematics. Another example is the transitive property of equality which can be stated in this form a equals b display style a equals b b equals c display style b equals c therefore a equals c display style a equals c Topic: Validity and soundness. Deductive arguments are evaluated in terms of their validity and soundness. An argument is valid if it is impossible for its premises to be true while its conclusion is false. In other words, the conclusion must be true if the premises are true. An argument can be valid even if one or more of its premises are false. An argument is sound if it is valid and the premises are true. It is possible to have a deductive argument that is logically valid but is not sound. Fallacious arguments often take that form. The following is an example of an argument that is valid, but not sound. Everyone who eats carrots is a quarterback. John eats carrots. Therefore, John is a quarterback. The example's first premise is false. There are people who eat carrots who are not quarterbacks, but the conclusion would necessarily be true, if the premises were true. In other words, it is impossible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false. Therefore, the argument is valid, but not sound. False generalizations, such as, everyone who eats carrots is a quarterback, are often used to make unsound arguments. The fact that there are some people who eat carrots but are not quarterbacks proves the flaw of the argument. In this example, the first statement uses categorical reasoning, saying that all carrot eaters are definitely quarterbacks. This theory of deductive reasoning, also known as term logic, was developed by Aristotle, but was superseded by propositional sentential logic and predicate logic. Deductive reasoning can be contrasted with inductive reasoning, in regards to validity and soundness. In cases of inductive reasoning, even though the premises are true and the argument is valid, it is possible for the conclusion to be false determined to be false with a counterexample or other means. History Aristotle started documenting deductive reasoning in the 4th century BC. Topic See also Topic References Topic Further reading Vincent F. Hendricks, Thought to Talk, A Crash Course in Reflection and Expression, New York, Automatic Press, VIP, 2005, ISBN 87-991013-7-8 Philip Johnson Laird, Ruth M. J. Byrne, Deduction, Psychology Press 1991, ISBN 978-0-86377-149-1 Zarevsky, David, Argumentation, The Study of Effective Reasoning Parts 1 and 2, The Teaching Company 2002 Bullemore, Thomas, Asterisk The Pragmatic Problem of Induction 
External links Deductive reasoning at Philpapers Deductive reasoning at the Indiana Philosophy Ontology Project. Deductive reasoning. Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy.